as part of our hashtag real people series where we celebrate individuals across the real estate industry i am delighted to welcome anna bud head of european legal at heinz and an alumni of clifford chance welcome anna oh thank you it's great to be here it's great to see you so anna you and i worked um, for many years in the London real estate team across a number of matters yeah. before you left to join BlackRock and then Heinz. Tell us a little bit about Heinz and uh, what your role encompasses. Yes, yeah, so, um, so Heinz is a global real estate investment development and management firm. Um, we were founded in 1957 by Gerald D. Heinz in Houston. Um, we're still privately held, um, Jeff Heinz and Laura Heinz Pierce and our co-CEOs. Um, I think that having that family ownership gives Heinz a very special, special culture. Um, we are vertically integrated, so we are in investment management, development management, um, asset management, and property management across all um, the major sectors and up, you know across the risk curve. So yeah, it's been an amazing journey for Heinz in the last sixty-five years, going from you know, one man, one development. Um, we're now in 285 cities around 28 countries around the world. Oh. Um, we've got over 4,800 employees um, and over $90 billion of dollars of assets under management. So, you know, that growth over the 65 years, it continues to grow. So that's amazing. Um, in terms of my role at Heinz, I joined Heinz in 2017. Um, I joined as the sole legal counsel for Europe, was the first one. Um, and since then, I've been lucky enough to, to build an amazing team in London and Luxembourg. Um, and the legal team in Europe um, is responsible for all aspects, all legal aspects of the business. Um, so everything from our funds, our joint ventures, obviously real estate transactions, um, and everything else in between. Um, so I left, if a chance, as you know, as a, as a real estate lawyer focusing on UK real estate. Um, and since leaving um, at BlackRock and Heinz, I, I'm not quite sure how I would describe myself now, but I think um, I'll always be a real estate lawyer at heart. Fantastic. So it's evident you've been on quite a journey. Looking back, what advice would you give your younger self? I don't feel old enough to give my younger <laughs> self advice. Um, but I think if I was to give my younger self advice, it would be you know, have confidence. Um, have confidence to be yourself. And I think mm. you know, one thing I've learned, and especially as I've got older, is the power of authenticity. Mm. I think if you are yourself, then you can really um, focus on, on the work at hand. So I think it's, it's too easy, especially in your younger years, to sort of think that you have to be something or behave like someone else. Um, so be authentic, be confident. Um, I think, you know, take every opportunity that comes your way. Um, sometimes that will involve taking risks, um, but hopefully they will pay off. Um, and I think finally, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Goes too quickly. I think you know, I, I, I have the tendency to be a bit impatient. So I think it's a bit of a cliche, but I'd also say you know, it is a marathon, not a sprint. It will come, it will happen. That's great advice, I think. Um, we, we've discussed previously the differences be, be, between being in-house, which requires quite a broad skill set, and private practice where you can be more specialised. Mm -hmm. What do you think are the key experiences which have shaped your career, the key experiences that you um, gained at Clever Chance which shaped your career? Yeah, I think... I didn't join Clifford Chance as a trainee, so I, I trained at another firm. I joined Clifford Chance when I was two and a half years qualified. And the key reason for coming to Clifford Chance was to get a broader experience of real estate. Um, you know, Clifford Chance has a, a truly full functioning real estate um, offering. Um, and I think, you know, my seven years at Clifford Chance, I did get an amazing breadth of experience. I worked with the best. I learned from the best um, and I think that gave me such a good grounding um, and good legal common sense. So I think it's only after I left um, private practice and moved in-house and started to have to work on you know, a multitude of disciplines and, and different areas that I realised that you know, I've got good sound legal judgment, which came from my experience at Clifford Charles. And actually, you, know, you could apply that to so many different fields. Um, so I think, you know, that's, that's the, the key thing that stays with me from my time at Clifford Chance. 
As we know, it's, it was recently International Women's Day, and I know that uh, diversity and inclusion is very close to your heart. Tell us a little bit about what you and Heinz are doing to further that agenda. Yeah, you're right. I, I've always been um, committed to um, equality and diversity, um, you know, primarily around women, because I am a woman, but I also think, you know, diversity and inclusion in the workplace is so important. Um, I think it's been proven time and time again that having a diverse workforce, um, you know, you, you don't have group think. Um, I think, again, you know, being able to turn up as yourself, we talked about authenticity, it means that people can be the best they, they can be in the workplace. Um, and I think, you know, it helps employee retention. Businesses are more successful if they have a diverse um, workforce. So, you know, it is, it's really important. Um, I think at Heinz, we are very lucky um, because we're global. We have, you know, diversity through different cultures, mm -hmm. through different um, skills in the workforce. Um, in terms of women, Heinz has 40% um, of our employees are women, um, which I'm sure we would love to be higher than that. But I think in the real estate industry, which is so male um, dominated, I think that's, you know, that's a real accolade. Um, as we mentioned before, Laura Hines Pierce has just been promoted to co CEO, yes. which is fantastic. Um, I think she's a, a great role model and leader. She's one of the few, if not the only, female CEO of a global real estate company. So, in that sense, I feel Hines is leading from the leading from the front. Um, you know, from my own personal perspective, um, I, I know that Clifford Chance has recently become a member of Real Estate Balance, which um, is an organisation that Heinz is a member of. Um, I sit on their policies and campaign committees. Um, so, you know, really, 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 as you know, Real Estate Balance is an organisation um, seeking to really drive change in the real estate industry yes. seeking to um, bring diversity not just in gender but you know all all minorities um so that's something that i'm you know working very closely with and, and enjoy enjoy that side of it um and mentoring i think Heinz has launched a mentoring program which is available to everyone but i think it's you know especially important for women to to choose you know or hopefully be able to choose mentors that will help them um, succeed in their careers that's great so anna now it's the quick fire round. Oh, it's been, I've been looking forward to <laughs> Where we get a chance to get to know the personal side of Anna. Are you ready? I'm ready. Excellent. If you weren't a lawyer, you would have become? I think a doctor. So oh, I, I had can a, see that. I had a bit of a weird um, route into the law. I, I did science as a degree. So um, for a long time, I thought I was going to do that side of life, but came over to the law. <laughs> Ski slopes or beach? Definitely beach. Cannonball or dip your toe in the water? I'd have to dip my toe in the water. What's your go-to lazy dinner? Um, pasta. Would you do stand-up comedy? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Up with a lark or night owl? I'd love to say I was a morning person, but I'm definitely a night owl. But as you know, we're lawyers. <laughs> and <that's> we are. <laughs> both ends. I'm burning the, the candle at both ends, I think, is, is, is actually the, the, the way. And favourite month? August. And finally, would your 12-year-old self think you were cool? I would love to say yes, but judging by my 11 year old daughter's opinion, I'm pretty sure it'd be no. <laughs> well, thank you, Anna. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, to speak with you today, as always. And thank you so much for taking part in the hashtag Real People series for us. Thank you so much, Alice, for having me. It's been great. Okay, that's it, folks. Um, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more in the series, then please follow the Clifford Chance Global Real Estate LinkedIn page. Thank you.